Hey guys, what's up? Josh here. And I have some bad news. For all of you artists out there, I want you to know that you can't call yourself an artist unless you're making art. This is this is a really harsh truth, and I'm sorry that I have to say it, but um Really, think about that. You can't call yourself an artist unless you're making art. We, we have to continuously earn the titles that we give ourselves. Just because you played football in high school doesn't make you a football player for the rest of your life. Just because you have made a piece of art doesn't make you an artist today. Will Durant once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Now, this is uh, often attributed to uh, Aristotle, which is incorrect, uh, but I'm, I'm even guilty of saying that Aristotle said that. No, that was, that was Will Durant. But more than just the habit of excellence any title we give ourselves has to be upheld as a habit if we want to keep that title which means if you want to be an artist you need to develop the habit of making art it takes persistence and consistency to show up every day or at least most days to make some sort of art now I'll give myself a break I'll take a Sunday off here and there and just not make anything or if I'm sick maybe I'll skip a day but more often than not by a very large degree I'm making art almost every single day and notice I didn't say anything about intensity I didn't say anything about cramming a bunch of art in on one day I said consistency so you don't have to do a lot of art every day but if you make some sort of art every day then you've earned the title of artist and that's about as practical as it can get set some very low minimum whether it's a simple sketch or maybe a gesture study or 10 minutes working on a painting that you started set a very low minimum and try to hit that every single day and you've earned your title Now, making art every day, it, it really has its own benefits, too. I think it was a, a talk between Anthony Jones and Adam Duff, where Anthony Jones really pushed for about three hours of art every day. And I, I can agree with that. I typically create art more than three hours every day. But he was really pushing this idea that if you're consistent and you put in at least a little bit, or in his case, a lot of time every day, you will grow so much faster than the person who tries to learn a lot all at once. It's like binge eating. It's not good for you. So don't cram your art time into it like one day per week. You're going to burn yourself out that way. But doing art every day builds the muscle and not just your artistic skills. I mean, yes, you're going to improve your artistic skills and techniques, but you're also going to increase your creativity. You're going to become a lot more productive as an artist. And I know that that term productivity, it's a tricky one right now. Um, I'll talk more about that in another video, but 
you can improve or increase your productivity as an artist and produce more work in less time. And that, I think, is the important part, the less time. But as you improve your skills and your creativity and your productivity, you can become more confident in your art. I don't know about you, but I love showing off a piece that I'm proud of. It, it really helps with my self-esteem, which, if you know anything about my history, art, art serves a pretty important role in my mental health beyond my self-esteem. Uh, art is a part of my emotional life. And more than anything that I just mentioned, it's really an opportunity to express yourself. You can use your art as a journal to explore the ideas in your head and put them on paper or on the screen or sculpt them or write them. It doesn't matter. But if you're an artist, who isn't making art, if you are a writer who isn't writing, or if you're still pretending to be a football player even though you, you haven't played since high school, it's, it's time to change your title or change your habits. And that doesn't mean it's easy. That doesn't mean it's easy at all. But it is simple. You are what you do, so do the thing that you want to be. To make things easier, set really specific goals, but small ones. It's the baby steps that get you to the top of the mountain. So what's the smallest amount of art you can do to call yourself an artist? You get to decide that. Create a space. Create a space where you can reliably create your best work. Your environment eliminates the need to focus if you have it set up right. So goals and a space to achieve those goals. Those are both really important things. You can also experiment with different mediums to see what helps you with your art. I started studying comic book workflows and concept art workflows and illustration workflows. And all of those things really helped me with client preparation for tattooing. So don't be afraid to explore. And the easiest way to stay consistent sounds really boring, but uh, the easiest way to stay consistent is to schedule the same time every day where you are going to sit down and work on your craft. I've already mentioned that you become the people you spend the, the most time with. Um, that was, that was one of my favorite topics, actually. But if you can find a community of other artists, they can support you and inspire you, too. So remember, no matter what you want to be, you have to do the thing to be that person. Don't call yourself an artist if you're not making art. It takes persistence and consistency, not intensity, but consistency to reach your goals as an artist. It's not going to be easy. There are going to be challenges, but that's just part of the game and you can overcome them by setting goals, making a space for yourself making it fun through experimentation 
and scheduling time to make your art. And possibly, most importantly, surrounding yourself with people who will support you on your journey. So start building the habit of making art every day. and You can become the artist that you want to be. On that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone that you think it could help. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to show me that you want more videos like this. That's the best way to do it. And until next time, keep drawing, painting, writing, singing, or dancing your heart out. And we'll talk soon.